All four sports, here we go. I want to talk about a Houston Rockets versus Golden State Warriors. Big game tonight. I thought Houston would win. I said it in my last video. And what had happened was what I said happened. But good get-go from Houston, right? We look at the aggressiveness of James Harden going to the hole, even though his shots were not falling. And the incredible game by the big X factors for me, Gerald Green and Mr. Eric Gordon. Uh, also, hey, Clint Capella got touches today. Okay, they needed to do that last game, but they didn't. He got touches today. He was able to get his his, his um, offensive rebounds, putbacks, alley oops. That's his specialty. Get him engaged early. That said, again, Eric Gordon to me was a story of the night uh, for today's game. Um, his 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 game time clutchness, right? His clutchness in the, in the pocket is proven to me that Eric Gordon came out the same year as Derrick Rose. They were both slated to be superstars. Eric Gordon had his rash of injuries, but was an all star or had all star performance uh, criteria in his bed. Came to play tonight like he was that all-star that we all thought he would be. And the other fact is, uh, chip on his shoulder, he came off the bench. But look at the point percentage tonight, 24 points. I mentioned the 40% shooting is critical to every team. He had that 40%. Okay, shot over 40% from the field. Uh, Three-pointers, he was at 30%. Chris Paul, clutch three-pointers. Shot 44% from three to that tonight. Uh, but had a bad performance from a field goal perspective, 31%, 6 of 19 shooting. James Harden just as bad, 5 for 21, 0 for 11. Okay, he didn't show up, and Houston still won the game. He was non-existent, but remember, his drives are assists because they're all collapsed on him, so he was doing his thing on that portion of the ball. If we continue down, the other problem with James Harden Six turnovers tonight. Wow. 12 points or 18, however you want to look at it. Um, not a good performance. Who made up for him? Drell Green was near perfection. Three for five from the field goal percentage. And then three-pointers, he was over 60% shooting three of five shots. Here goes the problem that occurred tonight um, on the Houston Rockets side. Uh, in the fourth quarter, during a drive, uh, Mr. Chris Paul landed on one foot awkwardly, and it looks like his hamstring went out. If you've ran track, if you've done any high-performance sports where you need fast twitch, you probably experience uh, a mild hamstring injury. This looks to be a mild at this point, but even a mild puts you at risk. And I doubt he's going to play the next game. It takes about a week and a half, two weeks for a mild hamstring injury. If it's a serious one and it's a full tear, you can forget about it. And it is critical. It is critical to your movement. My suggestion for the Rockets, let's throw in Mr. Aaron Brooks into the game. Let's get him going. Why do they got Aaron Jackson on there? Did he change his last name? Aaron Brooks was on his damn team. Oops, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't even know who this guy is. <laughs> Aaron Jackson, where the hell did he come from? Okay, I'm sure. Guys, this is a live video, but holy shit, I, I thought Aaron Brooks was on the team. Aaron Brooks needs some burn. Uh, Joe Johnson also is one that needs to come in now. I think these guys will play a role. And finally, hopefully... This man is playing zero minutes in the series. Ryan Anderson, get the man some god darn burn. He is not playing. I don't understand what's going on. You're going to have to play Ryan Anderson now. You need that point output. Uh, the efficiency of Chris Paul, zero turnovers. But look at his um, trending performance when he's on the floor. He's at a negative, right? He's not really helping you too much. Maybe too much ball handling. It looks like a great assist, but is it really a great assist is the question. Um, that you have to ask yourself, but he did lead the team in assist tonight. I would say that this was a great win for Houston with the respective numbers, right? The numbers tell a different story than what it actually happened. So it was a dirty game. 
How did the how did the uh, Golden State Warriors do? God damn it, Kevin Durant, thirty six percent. That's average for him, but still not a great shooting performance. He can't get it going from the field goal range inside the three. But when he gets to the three point line, he's shooting over fifty percent, uh, which is a great job for KD. Only four rebounds. I say that because the expectation is he can be a six or seven rebound guy at his height, uh, but not getting too much. And then two turnovers. Draymond Green. Great stat line. People are laughing at him. 12 and 15. So he did his job, but he had six freaking turnovers. Now he shot 44% from the field and 50% from three. So did his job, but in key moments he made mistakes. Kevin Looney was average. Uh, I don't know why they're not playing Javala McGee. I don't know if he's injured or something's going on. Um, Clay Thompson, 23 points, uh, 50%, over 50% from both sides. Great game for Clay, and then great game for Curry. From the field goal range, but from the three-point line, he struggled only 25% and hitting two of eight. Uh, Jordan Bell has been coming in as a defensive. Um, Dennis Rodman is source for this team, and David West finally got some burn. They played Quinn Cook. He missed a couple critical shots. Actually, he didn't hit a shot for the game and shot six of them, so that was a problem. And then you had our buddy, Mr. Sean Livingston, who's consistent. Played 17 minutes. Be advised, Andre Iguodala is out. So that may have been the X factor for them with Andre being out. And if Chris is out the next game, and I highly, highly think he will be out, it's going to be an interesting series to see who comes out on top because you're missing key proponents of your team for championship play. However, when you look at the East, I'm going to ask the question. If Aaron Brooks comes in and has a satellite game or Ryan Anderson or Jerry Green step up and give you 12, I'm, thinking, I'm looking for 12 and 10. Plus maybe another nine from somebody. That will make up Chris Paul's offense. I think Harden can pick up the slack with the assist game. Um, I think Trevor can also give you maybe 10 points. TJ, 10 points. If you get my drift, you see where I'm going. There is There are players. Joe Johnson, who hasn't touched the ball yet. He can probably give you six or eight. Once those players combine, I think you have minimal risk of having, having problems getting through Golden State. If Andre Iguodala is still injured, remember that X factor. Andre Iguodala is injured, so he is the all-purpose small four for this team. And I think his 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 him, him missing the game tonight was a big reason for their loss. So let's see what Chris Paul's loss is for the Rockets. So great series. I think the Rockets can pull it out. Put the right players in place. Rockets versus Celtics. Tell you what, if, if both uh, Paul is injured and Kyrie, it evens it out. It'd be a great series. It'd be nice to watch. Check it out. Off Work Sports. Peace. Houston Rockets won the game.